We're here with the South Miami Cobras as we continue our coverage from High School Football Media Day presented by the Miami Dolphins. I'm here with Coach David Gray and several other South Miami Cobras. Um, Coach, South Miami obviously a um, very proud tradition here and I know you guys are trying to bring um, bring that back. Uh, so what have you done this offseason to, uh, to achieve your, your goals that you have for next season? Uh, well, we've hit the weight room extremely hard. We've done about every single camp at 7-on-7 seven seven you can. Uh, a lot of team building, family building with this group, and we, we know we're ready. Yeah, and you guys have a new district now, uh, moving down to Class 7A. Um, a, a big district, uh, nine schools in total, so you'll have eight opponents on your district schedule. Um, so kind of catalog the district for us and, and what uh, to expect out of it. Uh, well, I haven't played some of these teams in a long time, so it's going to be new for all of us. Uh, it appears Matter and Miami Springs are two big teams that are moving in as well, and we feel we're up with them. And then the other, you know, we know everyone else is going to give us good competition as well. So, overall, do you like the move? Do you do you like being in um, in this district? The opponents that, you, that you'll be facing? I do. It, it's a little something new, some new stadiums, and uh, some honest competition. So, okay. Well, um, take us through the players that you have um, out here for us, and and what each one of them brings to to the South Miami program. Uh, well, Adrian Ellis here is a linebacker, outstanding underclassman. Uh, sideline to sideline, so you know, love having him on the field. Uh, Jamar Tompkins, number four, in my opinion, top five running back in Dade County, uh, and not too many people know about him, but he absolutely is. Uh, Eugenio Bourbon uh, is a guard, linebacker, big 230 pound linebacker to play the middle, uh, so no one's going either A gap on us. Uh, <clears throat> Renee Rodriguez, left tackle, uh, one of the best left tackles in all of Dade County. Uh, outstanding and then Antoine Wright our 10th grade big tall quarterback who uh, improves every day and just you know can do anything we ask of him so we're excited yeah and you guys uh, um, last season were a real young team but a lot of players returning so talk about how many guys you have returning on both sides of the ball and um, and how much that helps just having that experience yeah we have about uh, Probably about six returning starters on both sides of the ball. Uh, we are still really young, playing a lot of uh, 10th and 11th graders next year. Uh, last year's team was about a year behind. We knew that, but that experience will pay off this year. So we're excited. Ultimately, what are uh, your expectations for this upcoming season? Uh, it's it's got to be undefeated 7A district champs. I mean, that's that's why we went to work every single day in the hot summer. So that's what that's what we do at South Miami. All right, you heard it here. Undefeated 7A, South Miami.